what is up guys it is your boy b7 check alone in today's video we're going to be talking about a level 1000 versus a level no not a level a 30 prestige in call of duty in all right in call of duty so pretty much guys i mean a level 1000 guy is probably a nerd no i'm not gonna say a nerd a a person that plays call of duty a lot i mean if you like Black Ops 3 is the first Call of Duty that literally, you know, you can go up to level 1000. And in Modern Warfare Remaster, it's a different case. In Modern Warfare, actually, in Modern Warfare Remaster, it's the same thing. You can get, you can go up to level 1000. And in my opinion, it is harder to level up. Um, not harder, it just takes a little longer to level up in Modern Warfare Remaster than in Black Ops 3. I mean, why is that? Well, uh, pretty much in Black Ops 3, there's so many ways you can get, uh, you can get, no, you can't. There's so many ways you can level up in that game. There's uh, XP for literally everything. You get XP for everything, uh, for capturing a flag, uh, for putting your GB, you know, assist and, you know, stuff like that. And it's, there's so many ways you can level up in that game and Modern Warfare Remastered uh, there there isn't many but because there, there there isn't a lot of challenges as well because also challenges count in in Modern Warfare uh, no in Black Ops 3 so that is you know so what is the difference you know um, like a 1000 a level 1000 in Black Ops 3 it isn't really that impressive. I mean, it is it is impress impressive to see a level one thousand because I mean that guy plays a lot of Call of Duty. I mean, uh, I play Black Ops Two for like thirty days, you know, combined with everything, and it just I just got to Prestige Master right thirty days, and I probably I probably was able to Prestige like three times. You know, because 30 days is a lot, and I got to Prestige Master like in eight days or seven days, something. So, yeah, almost like pretty much like three pre Prestige Masters and Black Ops too. But you know, and if there was a uh, level 1000 Black Ops three, I would literally, you know, probably be level 1000 that game. 30 days is a lot, and yeah. So, but. Yeah. Now level one thousand versus a thirty prestige in you know thirty prestige. Well uh overall in Black Ops three there's ten prestiges, right? Yes, to get to hit master prestige and after that it starts it starts counting the one thousand levels, you know. And, you know, it just keeps counting until you hit one thousand and if you're if in a Call of Duty that doesn't have a, a level 1000, for example, Modern Warfare 3, that game has 20 prestiges and it doesn't have level 1000, but there's 20 prestiges. But we're talking about 30 prestiges, it's pretty much like you hit Master Prestige and Modern Warfare 3 plus another 10 prestiges, and yeah, you're set. And I feel like hitting level 1000 is harder not harder it takes longer than hitting 30 prestige i mean there's so many levels from zero to 1000 and the thing is um if you hit prestige master and black ops 3 in your um level 55 right 55 or 50 i don't know 55 i think yeah 55 and then it starts counting so you will get to 56 57 58 59 you know 60 literally they, you gotta hit like 900 some 950 something levels you know i get like that's a lot and in one prestige from level one to 30 it's not really that hard but from 30 to 50 or 55 isn't really that hard either but and also for each level and after you hit master prestige it's a lot of xp you need a lot of xp but to hit from level one 
to level 10 isn't really that much it's just little so there's a big difference there if you if you actually compare the levels and how many how many how much xp you need to hit level 1000 you know versus to hit you know a 30 prestige so 30 hitting per 30 prestige is a lot easier and it takes not i need to stop saying like if it's easier harder it just takes a it doesn't take that long to hit it and and if you compare a person that hit 30 prestige versus a person who hit 1000 in black ops 3 i mean that guy with the level 1000 probably wins right because he has he has been playing the game a lot but not only like the people who play a lot of the game are really good at the game there are some people who are just naturally good at playing call of duty i mean i started you know as a noob and i wasn't really that great but after a while you know one year later i just got way better for playing a lot and yeah that's how it is so yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i mean if you see a guy that's level 1000 don't think that he's like the best player in the lobby because a lot of times he just plays a lot of call of duty you know and there are some people who are naturally better and you know they just get better over time when they keep playing the game so yeah guys that was it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i mean this is the 30 prestige versus the level 1000 and the comments down below tell me you know what was your highest prestige you hit or how many days you have played overall in one call of duty mine was 30 days in black ops 2 and that's the highest call of duty i played the most so yeah guys that was it and peace